Let's go, let's go, man. Let's get into it. Let's talk about Skip Bayless, people. Mr. Johnny Manziel is going to be uh, bigger than um, LeBron James in Cleveland. Mr. What, what other takes he? Mr. Tim Tebow, Dick Ryder, Tom Brady, Dick Ryder, LeBron James hater. Uh, Skip Bayless, you know what I'm saying? And Skip Bayless has departed from Undisputed, I believe, the first of this month or whenever uh, happened. And it seems like this is the end for Skip Bayless. Now, I know a lot of people are celebrating. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, he's gone. This, that, and third. Mainly LeBron James fans. Uh, people who don't like Skip Bayless. But I'm going to say this. Say what you want about Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless entertained people. That's his job. And I kind of have this whole perspective of when it comes to people like Stephen A., even Shannon Sharp, Skip Bayless, Nick Wright, you know, you do have people who know their stuff. You know, like Jalen Rose knows his basketball. Uh, Nick Wright knows his stuff about uh, the Chiefs. Well, that's his team. Shannon Sharp knows his stuff about football and stuff, but when he talks about basketball, he's just, you know. But I'm going to just keep it real. These people on TV – are just here to entertain. That's it. That's it. Skip Bayless is, whether it was with Cold Pizza, with Rob Parker, whether it was First Take with Stephen A., whether it was Shannon Sharp with Undisputed, and then Undisputed after with Keyshawn Johnson and Richard Sherman, all that. Skip Bayless's whole point was to entertain. And I'm going to sit here and say he entertained. People can – listen, I get it's popular to hate Skip Bayless. I understand it. I get it. Whatever. But at the same time, he entertained. Is he an idiot? Absolutely. Well, no, he's not an idiot because he marketed himself as this super-duper cowboy fans, super-duper cowboy fan. And we all know the Cowboys are probably one of our top three of the most popular teams in America, maybe even worldwide. You never know. And he marketed all for that. He – who was the biggest uh, face in the NBA for the last 20 years? LeBron James. He marketed himself as the biggest LeBron James hater. Say what you want about Skip Bayless. You watched him. You watched him. It's ironic. He's kind of like the Cowboys of, you know, you know, sports talk. You, you, anytime something, and when LeBron James won the finals, when the Cowboys lost in the first round, when, I don't even know. When Tom Brady lost, when Tim Tebow got traded, whatever the case may be, you wanted to see Skip Bayless's reaction. When Aaron Rodgers won a playoff game or whatever the case may be, or if Aaron Rodgers were the loss or whatever the case may be, you wanted to watch Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless did his job. He's not a he is not a sports, he's not a sports analyst. He is a entertainer. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Let's. I'm going to keep it all the way real, right? ESPN has Scott Van Belt, I think his name is, who covers the X's and O's. He covers all this other stuff, right? Does anybody watch him more than Skip Bayless? Does anybody watch him more than Skip Bayless? Uh, who are those two clowns that came on? Uh, I'm forgetting the names. Mike and Mike. Mike Francesa, even though Mike Francesa is more, you know, New York and stuff like that. Uh, Michael K, all the guys who cover the X's and O's of sports, whether it's baseball, football, basketball, whatever the case may be, did you watch them, yes or no, more than Skip Bayless? Let's be real. Did you watch those guys more than uh, than Skip Bayless, than the Shannon Sharps, than the Stephen A's, than the, uh, I don't know, uh, Colin Cowherds, and the Nick Wrights now? Did you watch them more than them? No, because they were boring. They were actually talking about the sport. That's not what Skip Bayless does. He he does he does talk about the sports, yes. But at the same time, his whole job was to entertain you. He's a shock jock. That's all he is. Which I give him you gotta give him you gotta give him credit for that. You gotta give him credit for that. People and I know people in the comments that you're gonna be like, oh, well, you know, uh 
Skip Bayless, you know, uh, Skip Bayless sucks, just that and all this other stuff. I'm not looking at Skip as a sports analyst. He doesn't he doesn't know anything about sports. I'm talking about him as a pure entertainer. I'm looking at Skip Bayless like he was a character on a TV show. And let's be for all these sports, all these refs are basically TV shows. He was entertaining. I can go back anytime the Cowboys lost, anytime Aaron Rodgers lost, anytime LeBron James lost or won, or if the Cowboys won or Aaron Rodgers won or Tom Brady won or lost, uh, Patrick Mahomes won or lost, uh, the whole Johnny Manziel fiasco, Tim Tebow, whatever the case may be, I tuned in to see Skip Bayless because I wanted to see what he said. That is a fact. And Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. Smith. He entertained me. He entertained me. And I and people are looking at this way too much. He's no different than Stephen A. I'll even take it a step further. He's no different than Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp doesn't know his football. I'll give him that. Like, I'll give him that. You know, he's played the game. He knows more football than Stephen A., Skip Bayless, all these guys above. But at the same time, when it comes to basketball, he don't know a dang thing. But you know why I watch him anytime LeBron James wins or loses? Is because he is entertaining. He is entertaining. Nightcap, entertaining. Uh, his podcast. I think he. I was watching his podcast with Cam Newton, Charles Barkley, and Dana White. Entertaining. Entertaining. No one watches sports people on TV to talk about X's and O's. Let's be for real. When you're a sports fan, you don't talk about the X's and O's. Who talks about X's and O's and stats? Uh, when they talk about sports, isn't the reason why we like podcasters is because they don't talk about the X's and O's. We even players like the Paul George podcast, the Draymond Green podcast, the Shannon Sharp podcast with uh, what's his name? What's his dude's name? Uh, Chad Ochocinco. We watch them because they're entertaining, and these guys are actually on the court. You don't think they could talk about X's and O's? Kevin Garnett's podcast. Uh, I'm trying to think of some more football guys. Um, Travis Kelsey and Jordan, uh, what's his name? Travis Kelsey and uh, Jason Kelsey. You guys watch them because they are entertaining. It's that simple. And Skip Bayless, until the last few years, was entertaining. And he just couldn't do it anymore. And I, and I think Skip Bayless gets, uh, well, granted, he deserves his bad rap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but at the same time, it's like, say what you want. Anybody who's watching this video, you watch Skip Bayless. Anytime LeBron James won or lost, Tom Brady won or lost, the Cowboys won or lost, you tuned in to see Skip Bayless, plain and simple. And you cannot tell me otherwise. But it is what it is. As it goes for Skip Bayless, I don't know, like, you know, you know, I, I don't know what's going to go on with Skip. I mean, I don't see ESPN rehiring him. I mean, the guy's almost 80 years old. It's. I think Stephen A. already came out and said no. He doesn't want him back. He's cool with the cast of guys that he has now, which I agree with. I like the Shannon Sharp and the Chris Russo's, but you know, it is what it is. That's my thoughts. What are yours? RJ out. Mm -hmm.